what's going on hope you're good welcome i'm gonna do some planting today my name is tyler and yeah that's the extent of my introduction i i have some plants that i got today from sprout home chicago and i got this little one from plant shop chicago and i got these nice cheap little clay uh terracotta pots they have no drainage hole but the water will evaporate effortlessly these things and then you know i know how to water my succulents so also special guest this uh mimosa paduca i actually got from plant shop chicago as well and i want to plant that inside here and i think that they'll complement each other nicely in fact let's do it ah! fun fact the mimosa paduca is a greatly medicinal plant. I'm not even gonna put any more soil in here with it. I'm just gonna make it fit because you know, it seems healthy and they really grow effortlessly. Probably anywhere lush in South America contains uh, Mimosa Paduca. What a lot of people would consider a weed. You know, it grows everywhere. But I mean, as most weeds are medicinal, right in our backyard, all the medicine we need, believe it or not, so is this one. So, there we go. Magnificent. Let's see, let's make a, let's make a, do a little something. Sensitive plant, Mimosa Paduca, however you want to call it. I got some new red lava rock from Plant Shop Chicago, which I'm excited to use. Um, I'm going to pair these two. This is a Crassula of some sort. I love it. It's really brilliant. A little chunky. It's so small and yet, you know, it's got chunky, succulent little things and it's very tough. Like, none of these are budging. It's a tough plant and I'm excited. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn this fridge off. Fridge is always trying to jump on the track. Alright. I think they will look good in here. But actually, no, I'm gonna pair this one with that. Okay, I think I don't know, I have this to use too, which I got from Plant Shop Evanston. Um and I uh, can't remember the who made it. Yum yum ceramics maybe? Nah. They made some that were there. Yum Yum Ceramics is awesome. They make great, really eclectic pottery pots. Um, all right, so, oh yeah, I also got this. And uh, Sprout Home has this every year, this Cuban oregano. Um, and it's just amazing. It's like oregano to an even more potent degree. And it's succulent. And it's so lush. Oh, it smells... Oh, it smells divine. If you ever get to smell this, just smell it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm actually going to put maybe, I don't know. Because this, I just want this, I want this to look nice. Like in something like that's real treasureful, like, you know, a rare aloe or something. But mm, that one would look good, man. But no, the proportions aren't right. I want to get something a little bit more grown out for that one. There's my favorite plant of all. It's actually a river rock brilliant river rock and i've been using river, uh river rocks a lot recently in my pots along with rocks and i was actually inspired by uh tony two leaves at first but you know i like i love the you know desert barren sun faded type of look i always have so I think it's just like that style. It was exquisite. Awesome. Whoa. Also, this one, my favorite, with the aloe mylothii and some lithops. It's really awesome. So, actually, another. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna show you everything I've made lately. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Um. Yeah. Worthia. Something. Something beautiful. My other part of the mylothii mother. Ah! Stabbing me. Um, the Marlothia mother actually died. It, rot it root rotted, so I'm hoping that if I let this lay here, 
it will propagate. So yeah, there's another the rare Haworthia. I love rare Haworthias and aloes. This is another Haworthia. It's like a show and tell here. And honorable mention. I had a name for her and I forgot what it was, but right now let's call her uh, Martha. My Instagram is 96botanics if you ever want to check out my plant styles now or in the future, right? So with this, I don't even think I'm going to add any more soil to it. I could, but I'm just going to let it chill out in... Oh, wow, look at those roots. Look at the roots. Oh, it's ready for something bigger, actually. Ah, no. But look how beautifully it fits. I'm just going to get it used to my home and keep it in here, you know, for the time being. Oh, there's a baby. There's a baby. That baby Alumalotti I showed you was a baby of that cutting that I showed you, which died. So I'm fortunate to have that. But actually, the guy is going to send me another one for free because, you know, he, he packed it sort of janky. Someone on Etsy who doesn't uh, regularly do this type of thing, shipping plants. So, yeah. Oh, that's dwelling. That's dwelling. All right. So yeah. Wow, what a cutie! Dang, those those roots were ready for. It'll be all right. Sometimes nature is confined. You know, I wonder where this is from. Like, how does something this magnificent grow? What does it require? What, what you know? I gotta look that up. What is the origins of these? Well, actually, this is a hybrid, and actually, maybe someone hybridized it, but. Who are your ancestors? <laughs> All right, so she's done. Actually, let's see. All right. See, none of these go to waste, you know? You can fit them in there like a puzzle if you have to. One by one. And I, oh wow, I love these. So these were the first time I utilized the red rocks because I just got them. I love the golden lava rocks from Flesh Out Chicago. All right, so I'm gonna be delicate around the baby because I already kind of bent its greatest leaf. Mm -hmm. Like I said, fit them in like a puzzle if you need to. And if you don't need them all, just shake off excess. Let it shape itself. Alright. Well, that one just wants to live inside the L, but you'll never be an L, you're a rock. I mean, you could be an L one day, we're all stardust, right? Okay. Alright, nice. Beautiful. So that's looking cute. Looks like a dandy. We'll name that, we'll name that one dandy. So, so far we know Martha and Dandy. <laughs> and I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this for the rocks. I usually use a spoon, but this is more delicate because these are all so tiny. This one, dang, I don't even know. It's like abuse putting it in there. <laughs> but these ones will, I think these ones will enjoy a life in these, in the, well not a lifetime, but you know, a little bit in these pots here. Is this like ASMR? I should shut up and... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna shut up because I've already been talking a lot. Continue. All right, these are tough as nails. Ooh, that's... Wow, we start, you know what? I wanna throw... I want to throw some rocks in the Oh no! See, these are tough. They don't fall apart. They don't give a f They don't give a flute. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, we've already made this. So I'm going to throw some rocks in the bottom. Just so that there's some good drainage. 
even though I know that this this pot will absorb all the water I ever give it and it'll evaporate out of the sides really fastly and probably give more to the air than to the plant but you know I still know how to water summer's coming so succulent most succulents like a little more water in the summer although I did see an echeveria at Sprout Home Chicago that said water in like the fall and uh, winter season and in the summer season leave it alone that was interesting so I wonder if it just reserves all the water from the winter or, or, or I don't know maybe that's just it's time of the season you know all right so I'm happy with the way that looks um I'm worried about these not having enough nutrients to really thrive but um I'll do something about that later for now I'm gonna add a little bit more soil in there now I'm gonna add rocks What I love about using rocks on top of the soil is you can actually use the rocks to position the plant in certain ways, whereas before it's more subject to wilt at the will of the soil. But when you put the rocks in here, it allows more control. More human control, just what nature needs. <laughs> nah, nature's always in control. It's about to probably knock us all right off of this earth and spare every one of my houseplants, I hope. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Nature kills herself every now and then. That's, you know, that's a philosophy to explore. Nature kills herself. Probably every day, you know? Okay. That is just, to me, <laughs> that is so darling. That's cool. That's magnificent. Oh my gosh, I love that one. I should put a little river rock in there. Well, I don't even know where my little river rocks went, but no, there's not really any room for that. This looks, I mean, look at all this. It's got lava rocks and these river rocks. Wow, that's cool. I love that. That's it's such an ornament. This is too. All right, so if this doesn't seem like I sh if this is like seeming like abuse to fit this aloe in here, then I might put it in here, which is nice and wide. And actually, I could fit a cool rock in there too with it. That might be pretty. This the most of Paducah is seducing me. Okay. Alright, well, that's a sign. That's not it. that's just not it for this. We are gonna use this. Even though I don't I don't know. I like it. It's it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Plus this one has a drainage hole, so you know in this this aloe will have a little bit of room to expand in this one. I didn't and you know, I didn't add any other soil, any more coarse soil to these, so I'm gonna have to really be careful when I, when I do water these, which will be rare, but they are in my east facing window, so all that sun they get at the beginning of the day, I'll just be intuitive about it, I'm usually good. I'm just now getting back into my plant addiction, really. Um, I stopped buying plants for a long time. But now my friend moved to Chicago, so I have the opportunity to go there more and, uh, you know, have a lot of rare plants where at uh, my two favorite plant shop, or my three now, Plant Shop Evanston, Plant Shop Chicago, and um, Sprout Home. My top one is Plant Shop Chicago. Yeah, I'm biased because that's the one I've spent the most time in. I enjoy the people and I enjoy the environment. It's amazing. They have so many rare cacti and etc 
desert plants. That's their specialty. And their, their other shop in Evanston, it focuses a little more tropical in their collection. So it's really awesome to observe. Just like a puzzle, wherever you may fit, little lava rocks. So I wonder if these were rocks that formed in lava. Like are these another form of obsidian? Is this what happens when it doesn't harden in time to become obsidian? I don't know, lava is insane. Have you ever seen what happens to lava when uh, they uh, put God, like, okay, so one day I had a theory where I wondered what would happen if they just threw all the lava or threw all the garbage in the world into a volcano. Like, what's wrong with that? Why not? That's like the best option. But it's not because they threw, there was a video where they threw one bag of garbage into um, a volcano and the drama it was like the most offensive thing anyone's done to, to mother earth and it was instant drama she was the lava was like a very angry ocean so i would check that out if i were you that it's really interesting to observe all right so there you go Oh yeah, let me find, uh, let me find a river rock for this. Let's see, the collection. See, this is what I love. You can, I have like this technique where you can try to shift the plant with these rocks. And that's why it's so useful. There we go, there it is. I wish I could rotate this a little bit, but since I can't, you know, it is what it is. I like it. Cool. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, that concludes this. I'm going to clean up a little bit and show them off next. So, all right. So, let's welcome to the flower carpet the new plants of my abode. Mm -hmm.